All right. Uh, back uh, where was I? Oh yeah. Good evening, everyone, or whenever again it is. My name is Mr. Smike Hannigan, and once again we are going to be doing part. What's this part? Eight, I think. Yeah, I think it was part eight of the medieval let's play. Maybe it was part seven. I don't remember anymore. There's just so many parts. Anyway, we're going to be doing the asylum grounds, and there are birds trying to kill each other. But they're fine. It's fine. Now we see why it's a bad idea to walk through random gates. Those things are rusty, you know. Let's see. Yep, this is part eight. My mistake. Ha ha ha. Any damn way. I did start recording, didn't I? Yes, I did. Alright. And gotta walk through the asylum grounds, which is a giant hedge maze. I mean it claims to be a garden, but it's a hedge maze. A real bugger of one. See the chaos room here. Oh, one of the gardeners is trying to is coming out. I want to say he's not going to try and kill me, but he's got a shovel and well, they murderous buggers. Let's go trim the hedge a little as well, because this thing's going to try and set me on fire. Although I want a hedge trying to set me on fire. What next? Ice trying to burn me? Oh hell! No wait, actually that can happen. Never mind. What's down here? Oh, that's one way I can't go. There's a closed gate to that the way as well, and the weird star bush. Oh, and here is a strange being. Who would probably be Jack of the Green. Greetings, Sir Fortescue. My name is Jack of the Green. I am the master of riddles, and this maze is my domain. Yeah. You are free to leave, but only once you've answered four riddles. Puzzles so fiendishly difficult, so perplexingly complex, that no man has ever solved them. Ha ha ha. Now, try my first riddle. Find you of anything? <clears throat> At night they come without being fetched. By day, they are lost without being stolen. Alright, so we got to find something that appears at night, but then disappears at day. Hmm, I wonder what... Oh, it's this dude. Appeared out of nowhere again. Ah, oh, come on, man. No dignity. There we go. Oh, and look at this. Exploding Starbush. Only four left. I think there would be more than... Well, actually, it makes sense that there'd be more than one. Oh, there's another one, which I somehow didn't notice. Wait. And it's gone. Oh, there's nothing over there, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's see if I can go down over yonder. Oh, yes, I can. The gates are open. Oh, there's more, more angry gardeners. Or, oh, not angry gardeners, just set upon by an angry skeleton. Very rude, thinking about it. Anyway, there's another star bush. And there we go. Yeah, I really need a new weapon. Something we can chop these buggers up even better than usual. There, I don't know. And how's the hook? No, 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 don't you dare. There we go. Uh, and if he, if he had rung that bell, he would have summoned about five or six more enemies that would have... Oh. I guess I've got to ring the bell. Did he... Oh no, four more enemies. Oh, two more enemies. Three more enemies, actually. Alright, let's see. Damn it! I can't do the whole awesome spinny thing. Wait, hang on. Where did you come from? Haha! -ha, you can't get through my impregnable shield. Oh, the door's closed. Oh, I could just open it at any time. All right, get into my viewpoint. There we go. Now then, let's find those last two star bushes. There's one. Oh, don't really get this at all. So I'm just going to avoid it. But my star riddle was but a trifle. I always like to begin with an easy one. Return hither. You will not find my next conundrum so simple. I think I will. But then I won't know. Some form of uh, quantum conundrum, really. But who, who knows or cares? Time for number two. I live for laughter. I live for the crowd. Without it, I am nothing. Alright. So we're looking for an actor. Or a politician. Either or. 
Let's see, is it through here? No, it's not. It's going to be through here somewhere. Let's see, it's not down here, that's a dead end. Uh, maybe it's down here? Fish up. Hey, yeah, pa. Oh, get, 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 get away. There we go. I am so good at comboing on this, if such a thing even exists. And I'll be another shield. Useful to replace the one that I won't. That I might need. I mean, considering I've got the golden shield, I don't really need them, but it's always best to have a, a couple of spheres. And, oh look, here is the fun part. Now, I've got to find a way to get all these, uh, all of these to spin around properly. Fortunately, they spin back on their own after a while, as you can see. I don't remember which one. Alright, that one, middle one last. Oh, I think I hit that one anyway. Alright. Uh, yeah, that was stupid. Okay, I could get this done properly by giving it some thought. Alright, you know what? And I'm going to have to get this thought. It's horrifying, isn't it? Now then, let's see, it was... That... That, that... That, and that. Hooray! Right. Yes, it was a crown. Very clever, I'm sure. Return in haste, Sir Knight, for I wish to see the display of when you hear my next cryptic puzzler. How the hell can a skeleton who's missing half of his face, well, half of his skeletal structure, facial structure, I don't even know. Basically, how the hell can a dude who's missing a jaw and all of his face be able to give um, a look of despair? Actually, thinking about it, he already did that, didn't he? Well, whatever. Angry gardeners aside, let's just charge. Alright. Talk, talk to me, my good man. Face like a tree, skin like the sea, a great beast I be, yet vermin frighten me. Now this one is a little more difficult to suss out if you're not very good at understanding things. I mean, a face like a tree, that's a bit diff that's kind of insulting to trees. Oh, and look, there's oh, more, more angry gardeners. They're popping out of the grounds. Wait a minute, are these the ones hickers? Unfortunately, I can't actually do that thing properly. Alright, come on then, guard. Oh, hey, there was something in there. Hmm, I wonder what that elephant could be. That can't be anything important. Alright, there we go, that's then done. Nothing in here. Alright, so there's... God damn it, stop popping out of the ground like angry little radishes. I wonder what I've been watching lately. Can you tell? There we go. Alright. Alright then. Another bloody guard there. Gonna try and shovel me. Very rude of you. Oh, hello. There's the chalice. Now then, watch as this guy has something to offer. Services. I can repair my gold shield. Only for 100 per 100 gold, or 120 gold, I forget. But basically, it's, it's useful if you have a lot of money and like to use your shield a lot. That can't be me, right? Uh, phone, I do not appreciate your interruptions. Alright, now then, there should be some mice around here. I can't remember where they were. Ah, that was here. But I've got to get uh, Chaos Rune first, which is a bit of an annoyance. But I'm going to have to start dashing all over the damn place just to get this thing done a little quicker. Oh, look, this gate's opened. There we go. Hey, now come, come back here. Face your death. Or face death. Oh, bugger. These tentacles. You know, I'm gonna just back it up a little. Get the longbow out. Oh. 
kind of tired of having to go up and slap. There we go. Oh, it's still trying to shoot me. But I won't let that happen. No, and obviously this is not the way. This is a dead end. But it does get better, hopefully. Well, no, it will get better, obviously. I mean, let's see. Get the broadsword out again. Start mash slicing face up a bit. Get back. I'll deliver it. I'll deliver this uh, chaos rune to you somewhere. See what that weird little thing was emblazoned on the top of the thing. All right. Come on, little mouse here. Yeah. Hey, come on. Come on, squeaks. I think I got it stuck. Um. Come on. Come on, squeaks. Yep. This is one of those most annoying things that. Very technically speaking, an escort mission. Uh, and I've got to find a way to make it so that this mouse gets to that. I've got to get this mouse to that elephant. But there are m roaming cats, which will be, which will make this thing a bit of an annoyance. Mainly because I don't know how, what the hell happens if the cat catches a mouse. I mean, I know what happens in real life. They toy with them, they try and murder them, usually with success. But, uh, well. Come on, Squeaks. Gotta be wonder why it's a white mouse. Eh, yeah, whatever, I'm cool with that. White mice are awesome. Now then, hopefully these uh, singular things won't attack me. Oh! A razorback. My bluff. I pretended that riddle was hard, but in truth it was obviously an elephant. Obviously. This time, however, I almost pity you. The answer to my next vexing enigma has eluded the finest minds of a whole generation. Come to me. Ooh. Now then, I am going to go to him, of course. This very sickeningly slow pace. But first, I'm going to pause because I need to restart the recording again. You saw this coming, you knew it was coming, and yet you're still disappointed. <sighs> Disappointment aside, let's just, uh, you know, carry on. Click that. Let's talk to the gargoyle again. Well, Jack of the Green. I tolerate the moon and stars. I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight and you'll see me turn and run. Alright, now this one is quite a, quite a difficult one. But I accidentally fathomed it at one point. Uh, what was it? You know, I used to think, for some weird reason, that it was vampires. But it doesn't really make sense when you think about it, because they're not banished by torchlights. Very weird. Anyway, let's see, which way was it? There are several ways around here. Surprising enough, this place is like some form of bloody maze. Uh, was it this way? Damn it! No, that's the way out. I'm not a fan of having to constantly dash around the damn place. Oh, well, maybe I am, but still. Let's see, was this the way? No, that wasn't. That's the happy clown. Thing that you'd never think to hear about. Not this way. I never understood that thing. I mean, you can't even attack it, so why even keep it there? Yeah, whatever. Maybe it's just meant to be a hazard to anyone who wants to try and get to the chaos room. Oh, wait a minute, of course, I'm an idiot. It's where the elephant, elephant was. Let's keep charging back. Thankfully, all this charging makes it easy for me to sync up the videos. Alright, coming through. Alright then, buddy, you'll get yours. No, no, no. No bugger, that was my own fault. Alright. Watch this. As they are very slightly... Oh, that was loud. Hey, I can get the chalice already. Sweet. Let's go grab that now. Camera. Please. Alright. Now then. Sorry about that loud ringing in your ears. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Christ, I'm playing... I'm practically playing a demo night here, not Pyro. Alright, so I can heal. Let's give that a couple of seconds. Just hear a lone meow. Ah. Oh no wait, hang on, that wasn't a cat, that was a crow. Oh, that is the wrong way. That is the whoop. Alright, there's moon icon. Gotta wonder what could be in here. Now then, let's just slowly push. This way. Obviously there's fencing here, so I can't keep it I can't keep that stuff away. 
Oh, I can't push these things out of their boundaries. Ooh, that's done something. Uh, basically, the answer to this one will become apparent in about a few seconds, if you haven't fathomed it already. Come on now. There we go. Oh, and also, you can't reboot, you can't push them once they're in place, so... Oh, well. I kind of wonder what keeps these fires burning for uh, ages. And... Schwinger. Whee! Blast you. It took me ages to come up with that darkness one. Very well. Outrageous as it seems, my vast intellect has been matched by your badly decomposed brain. Hooray. Return at once and I shall give you your prize. Weirdly enough, that sounds like me on the internet. I think up the most amazing things and people either don't get it, or they do, but they completely get it stupidly. I don't even know. Basically, it's darkness, not vampires. You think you're so clever, don't you? Here you are, sir, clever clogs. I grant you free passage through my maze. Find your own way out. So kind. So not spiteful. Anyway. There is a way out, and it's not where you think it might be. Oh, whoops. Well, where it initially looked like. It's not those gates. It could be down this way. Where that weird fat man was trying to fire... Well, fireballs at me. A rude person, I think you, you have to imagine. Alright, so now then. Chess people. G -g Basically, these people talk a lot. They move on weird ways, so I've got to push them in the right way. Obviously, some of them... Oh, come on now, Red Queen. Get off there. Oh, damn it. I never liked this section, because it's so weird. I mean, they reacted very funnily, but still. Alright, he stays there. Come on now. It's always this stupid one. Alright. Solve this last puzzle and you will open the secret entrance to the asylum. The town mayor is imprisoned here, along with an army of madmen. Now, why would you leave a book that says that? Uh, normally you're meant to get this guy to move diagonally, but... freaking he refuses to move. I don't wonder what makes... why they mumble so much. Oi! <laughs> it's quite funny. I feel like I shouldn't be abused so much by this. But, oh well. Alright, get the walk. There we go. There we go. I couldn't move him until the last... until everyone else was in place. It's a very annoying chess piece, I'll have you know. And, yeah, th surprisingly enough, I don't go through the gate. I go to the depths below. Basement 2, away. Wait a minute, I've got the wrong game here. <laughs> anyway, going to be going to the Hall of Heroes now. Shroom. Astounding. Nothing for the gargoyle to say. Let's go into run mode and go upstairs to meet another dude. Will it be a weapon? Will it be another life bottle? Who can even tell? It's not this dude with his sword. It's... This dude, with an axe. Oh boy. Hey, Mr. Fortiske, I want to talk with you. That is an accent. If this Zorak so bad, why'd you get to go back? Why'd you of all people, Fortiske? It should be I, blood monather, skull cleaver, when I lived. Always I had a pile of slain strewn around me. Oh you, boy. you spent most of your time organizing and changing all the guard and playing croquet with the king. He gets it. Still, I lend you my axe. You a swinger, you a throw her. She tells for a slaughter as much as I. Amazing. Let's accept that. Drink deep of demon blood, my proud beauty. I'm not even sure what to make of that. Anyway, I got an axe. And I can throw it. Could 
be like those Axe Knights from Castlevania. Powerful enough on its own, in its own right as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't get a combo attack. It just gets a single downward strike. But hey, I'm down with that. Any damn way. Boom. Don't know why, but I'm suddenly reminded of the PSP rem remake of this game. I never liked it. Anyway. Next stage will unveil itself. And guess what? I'm going to go straight to it. I'm just going to save this. I'm going to, again, restart the recording, and I'm going to go on a axe murdering. It's going to be fun. But first, of course, just got to... No, 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 no. Don't, don't replay that. Give me... Oh, right. It's back to normal. Okay. Let's go inside the asylum. Where there is going to be some... It looks kind of like Luigi's Mansion. Or Wario's Castle. I don't know. There's a lot of references. Anyway. Slide down into the blood pit. Where I'm already... Where I'm already assailed by a very surprisingly strong zombie. But they go down with a single sweep of a homing axe. As you can tell, there's going to be a lot of death in this one. Look at that. I think Billy goes down. Oh, uh, well, the chalice barely fills by killing these guys. Yep, this is going to be boomerang axe all the way. Oh, God, it is powerful. I forgot about that. Unfortunately, oh, oh boy. Oh, come on, really? Unfortunately, they don't... It doesn't It doesn't hit things on the way back. It, well, that time it did. Oh, boy. Yeah, cannon fire is the flavor of the day this time. Why am I suddenly reminded of, uh, of all things Terraria? I'd say the blood moon's rising, but... No windows. You can't even tell. Alright, Zombles, come at it. I've got to keep on moving so I don't get hit by cannon fire. And again, that's kind of given anyway. Why would you stop moving? See, these guys look like the regular zombies from uh, the graveyard, but they're really powerful, which I never under quite understood. Maybe it's to make sure that you didn't just get. just tank the entire thing, swinging a small sword. Hopefully this, hopefully this time I won't drop straight into the f next floor. I mean, I might have missed something. Oh, that thing completely... How did that miss? Oh, boy. This is what happens if you stay still for too long. So glad this thing auto-locks, because I'd be having a lot of trouble. Nothing in here, so let's go to the next room. Huh. Oh, a bat. Oh no, oh god, that hurt. Oh boy. Basically this level was made for the axe. Go around mashing everything. Slice and dice all of the zombies. Something happened there. Oh, ooh, an item drop. I need that. I mean, hell, I still need more of them, but oh well. Better than nothing. Fortunately, the axe requires really silly angles in order to hit more than one enemy. Oh, god damn it, it's locking onto the wrong enemies. The bats, they're finally coming into their own. Unfortunately. Very annoyed that they can hurt me, but I don't get anything for killing them. Oh boy. Yeah, now we get the running zombies. Unfortunately, they can't be felled with a single strike, and I'm pretty sure they're still as painful as ever. Yep, they are. That's a hundred... God damn, that's a lot of health gone in one strike. Whoop. Gotta be very good at maneuvering on this one. Which basically amounts to move the... Uh, make sure you don't stay still for too long. Headless buggers that they are. Oh boy. Tell this is kind of this would be quite a slog if I was using the broadsword. Good thing I've been collecting chalices then. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, only fifty. Only slightly stronger than usual then. 
Oops. I'm so glad these guys are blind. And they're still doing damage. Basically, this level is designed to remove all of your health bars. Or, like, bottles. Good thing they don't disappear permanently, otherwise I'd be really buggered. Yeah, I could probably be doing this a lot better. Just do a guillotine run. Oh, there we go. A silver shield, money. All the prestige in the world, and yet I wanted health. Oh, boy. Oh, great. Here we go. These are the annoyances. Ripperoo is back for more. Sort of. I'm so glad I could just get all these guys in one area. Oh, and maybe not. Hope you like laughing, guys. Right, this is what they have in NSI on lots of insane buggers. In straight jackets. Alright. God damn. I don't think anyone deserves this much shine and Weirdly enough, I'm pretty sure I've heard this sort of laughter in real life. Alright, gone. Ooh, health. Alright, was there any more? Ooh. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Get away. Oh, I got money. Always what I need instead of health. Unfortunately, the, the axe can go through that big old fence. Thankfully, I can kill these guys in one shot. Not these guys, they take two shots, which is very annoying. Oh boy. Basically, if you can tell, the axe is basically a super powered version of your unarmed combat. Oh my god, what? Hope none of you dis. I really hope so none of you hate laughter, actually. Because you're going to be hearing a lot of it so long as I'm in this level. I think these en those enemies are unique to this area, anyway. Oh, door's open. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, boy. Basically, there's cannon fire and lava. The best of both worlds. Oh, wait a minute, the worst of both worlds. Thankfully, these buggers can't jump over. Fortunately, they don't walk into the lava. They aren't as stupid as Minecraftian zombies. Yep. Can you can you tell what my amazingly uh, complex oh boy, what my amazingly complex uh, strategy is or stratagem? It's very difficult to figure out. So I'll give you a minute whilst I deal more damage to all of these zombies. Almost got that chalice full. Basically, this, this is just murder town. Oh, hello. No, I've got to avoid that. Ah, now that was fun. Murder everything. Through here we have the end of the level. An amazing stage, I'll, I think you'll find. Got the earth room. I can get into the all of the heroes. And look, I've freed the cat in the hat. Well, heck, am I glad to see you. That Zavik tried to force me to hand over the Shadow Artifact. He means to release the demons from their tomb under the enchanted forest. But I said to him, I said, You can't touch me, you lanky windbag. I'm the mer. I that told him. But then he had me locked up in here with all these nutters. Oh, it's been terrible. I haven't managed to get a word of sense out of anyone in weeks. Weeks? Christ. <laughs> right. Well, I'll see myself out, thanks. You have a good look around, lad. Zarex left some stuff lying about that I think you might find useful. Of course. Weirdly enough, that's the best conversation I've seen in weeks. And I just remembered, he, he looks like the mayor from uh, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas. Which kind of makes sense, really. This game was kind of based off of that. Anyway, let's fill up these life bottles. I lost a lot less than I expected, considering the last time I did a run through this game. Anyway, oof. did I get everything? 
I think I did, I have. Shadow Artifact, Witch Talisman, The Arm, The Chance of Souls, and two Dragon Gems. Oh, yes. When I have a dragon, I'll show him his gems. I'll have his family jewels. Wait a minute. That sounds painful. Anyway, Hall of Heroes once more. What do you think I'll get this time? I bet you it'll be a nice life bottle. God, that was the thing. I was expecting to get a life bottle out of that. Oh, well. Finger. I love this axe. I also love the dude who bloody gave it to me. You know, in the bloody, um, in the remake of this game on the PSP, they decided that whatever the hell the accent that's meant to be, I think it was Mongolian or something, was a bit too offensive for tea, well, for modern and days. So they decided, oh, here we go. So they decided they made him Scottish. Oh, Danielle, I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, like? Hell yeah, I'm all for gambling. Oh boy, wait a minute. He didn't know this? Oh my good lord. Basically now I can set enemies on fire at a range. Well, I can just set enemies on fire. Always a fun time thing. Anyway, yeah, they decided to make Blood Monarch Scottish. And not the funny type of Scottish either. Was, like, the dude who voiced him didn't had heard of Scottish, you know, the accent from far off lands. And, you know, he tried to get the accent down. He really did, but it was just really half-hearted. Any damn way. Oh, I just yanked my headphones. That's not the best idea, guys. Gives you a headache. Alright, so that's the as inside the asylum completed. And with that, I've done all of the stray level lines. Well, apart from one. It's a very obvious one. If I could just move to it. It's not Scarecrow Fields, obviously. It's... Wait, hang on. The fucking gorge. Where the hell was this bloody level? I think it was Enchanted Earth? Ah, it was up here! Yeah, we're going to be doing the Enchanted Earth next time, where things start getting very interesting. I do hope you have enjoyed watching. My name is Mr. Smeg Hennigan, and I have a whopping great big axe. Thank you for watching.